Hey, 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 what's up, guys? This is my remote downstreaming system. I just wanted to post this video, show you guys what I did, what I built. Uh, shout out to Pressure Wash in Cincinnati for posting his video and his version of this. If you haven't checked out his video, you haven't been to his page, go visit his page. It's called Pressure Wash in Cincinnati. Um, he also built a remote downstreaming system. If you Google, I mean, not Google, if you go on YouTube and you type in remote downstreaming, You'll see his uh, his uh, video that he posted, and you'll get a lot of ideas as to how I built mine. But I'll show you uh, how I built mine as well. But <clears throat> this is what we have: I have my uh, downstream injector, I have my J rod, I have my remote, as well as my filter, and my siphon tube, and we have this uh, PVC box. Bought it from. Um, one of your big box stores, they have it. You can just go to one of your hardware stores. They have uh, a box like this. So, this is what we got. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show you. It's real simple. Uh, I, like I say, I already had the remote with the uh, module to control everything. I used to use it for my 12-volt system. I changed it over. Now I'm going to use it for remote downstreaming. I ordered the uh, electric solenoid from electricsolenoidvalves.com. And I put it in the box. This is what I got. I'm going to open it up. I have a uh, Femco 12-volt uh, on-off remote control system. As well as uh, electric solenoid. And then I have, uh, this is a, uh, a outlet where I can just pull it out and close the cap when it's not in use or um, if I want to disconnect it. I was going to put an on off switch on the box but I decided not to. This will be much simpler because I already had this part right here as well for another project that I was working on so I just uh, brought it over here and used it on this one. But anyway this is what I got. This is the remote. It has a little uh, antenna on top. As you can see the red light is on showing that we have power in the Femco uh, remote control system and when we hit the remote you can hear the solenoid click just like that on and off it's just that simple put the top back on screw it down Hook this to either your pressure washer or your hose reel. Uh, put your J-Rod or your soap tip in your nozzle. Drop your uh, your soap uh, siphon tube into your soap bottle or whatever. Turn it on. Turn your pressure washer on. And when you turn your pressure washer on, you hit your own, uh, own button if you want your soap right there. Then when you're done with your soap, hit your off button. Just that simple. It's just that simple. Uh, I probably have maybe 80 bucks in this right here uh, because the module, my first when I first ordered a 12 volt module with the remote was uh, maybe 30 bucks on Amazon or eBay. I'm not sure. I had it for a while. Uh, the electronic solenoid valve was uh, $29.99 plus shipping. I had to buy. Uh, these fittings, these one fourth inch fittings, and and I had to buy the uh, PVC box, and that's it. Um, I may have uh, I say around eighty bucks just to be safe, uh, because most likely you guys already have your downstream injector with your siphon tube and um, your filter. All you do is just cut your holes and add the uh, one fourth fittings into the module slide your hoses on stick this onto your pressure washer and you're ready to go and uh, you know once you have your power wire i have electric electric start pressure washer so i run this cord straight to my electric pressure washer once my electric pressure washer started anyway it's producing power so it doesn't matter really it doesn't matter if i unplug it or not i mean i can't unplug it but you know, just to keep from drawing the battery down when I have downtime. But 
most likely it'll be always plugged and this is my version of the remote downstreaming system i know i took about five minutes to explain this uh probably just rambling on but let me know what you think about my remote downstreaming system and then like i say if you haven't checked out pressure washing cincinnati's page uh in any of their videos go check out their page go check out their videos they do the remote downstreaming system as well they have two solenoids as well as they have uh some type of uh, hazard lights as well so you can once you hit the button the hazard light comes on let you know that you're drawing soap once you hit the other solenoid it lets you know that you're drawing uh, wax he has two solenoids on his system go check it out but once again like i say thanks for viewing subscribe comment and let me know what you think about my remote downstreaming system